Mollich. So let's do Mollich test. Mollich test, for starting Mollich test, you should have Mollich reagent, where she has alpha acyl in ethanol. And here, concentrated sulfuric acid. So, what are you going to test? Here, this is a carbohydrate, for example, it is glucose, monosaccharides. And here is a negative. Could be proteins, could be amino acid, even could be water, something not carbohydrate. I already prepared a solution of each one of those, about 5-10% of the salts in this water. So, let's start by adding a few drops, bit of a shake at the bit. A few drops of Molish reagent. A few drops here. And a little drops there. Next step, shake it a bit. Do the same with the control. Now it's coming to the next step, which is adding concentrated sulfuric acid. Very, very harmful. You have to be very careful. Start first with the carbohydrates. As I said, bend the tube, not facing yourself, not facing any of your colleagues, just in case something can get out of it, doesn't harm you or harm your body. At the side of the tube, slowly, slowly, add sulfuric acid. Very slowly. Need to add about 2 3 ml of the concentrated sulfuric acid so you can see clearly the violet ring. Now slowly and look at me and better have a background like that. What can you see? Violet ring at the interface. Can you see it? Very clear. This is what you should get if you have a carbohydrate. rate. So what can happen? We did the same thing with something which is not carbohydrate. Let's do the same thing. Then the tube. Slowly at the side, two to three now, as I did before. This is enough. What can I say? No wild friend, this is a negative result. So, this is what you should get if you want to have a kind of drink. A protein, amino acid, anything else. So let's put the two tubes next to each other so we can see clearly the difference. I think now it's very clear. Thank you.